Yo, what's up guys? Uh, for today's vlog, I'm gonna show you how the troubleshooting of our engine room ventilation fan. So, I will not show you all the explanations guys because if I explain too much further, uh, it will take how many hours to finish. So, I will only show you the uh, how I change the damage or the broken uh, part of the circuit so let's go okay guys we're now going to the uh, emergency generator room so we have a trouble here number two engine room ventilation fan 440 volts 60 hertz three phase so in here guys we already determine what is the fault in here so we'll open this one so this is the circuit diagram guys so let's open this I will show you what is the fault in this circuit so this is the circuit diagram so this is the motor 34.5 kilowatts 55 amperes so I already determine guys what is the fault in here so the fault is this one this overload relay so thankfully we have a spare I will change the overload relay so we will take out this contactor so we can easily put the overload relay in here so after that this will work so this one no power okay okay this one as we can see here this, this is the high voltage side side for the motor and this is the low voltage side for the control okay. this K3 and K4 is timer must be have a delay because there is a free will for the motor when you stop it must be have a timer first so that the motor will cannot operate on other direction so after the timer countdown you can now operate to the other direction this is the timer K3 this one K3 and this is K4 okay so that's all guys after I'll show you if we, I already connect the overload delay ok guys this is the thermal overload delay as you can see this one it's already burned that's why the motor not working because this part already touching to the other face so shorted this part and this part line 1 and line 2 this is already shorted so I take out this one and luckily I have a spare so now I will change this and put it on the circuit so we can run the, mo the motor now ok guys so this is now the engine room ventilation fan number 2 so this is already working so this 2 is in remote this control is going to the control room and then as you can see the ampere Okay, this red arrow is for the limit. If the this black arrow will uh, exceed to the red arrow, 
this wheel trip so the motor is already running as you can see in the panel okay here the, this one we already changed new terminal overload okay so this is new also this relay must be have a delay for exhaust and supply so okay guys that's all That's all guys, but I'll add something uh, Before troubleshooting guys, we must remember these important things First, familiarize the manual or the circuit diagram and prepare all necessary tools and also electrical instrument like multimeter, or clamp meter or anything, mega for troubleshooting because um, we, for example, you are given a task to troubleshoot something in forward and your tools is in the poop deck, just you forget something one tool, so it already consumes time. So you must uh, prepare all necessary tools. Second, uh, after you reach in the troubleshooting area, you must switch off the power supply of the circuit before doing anything and you must have to double check use tester or anything if it really have no voltage on the circuit you must think always the safety guys that is that is very important um i remember something that when we dry the uh, ship's term, uh, they call it loto, lock out, tag out. Before they do something in this area, they must switch off first the breaker, the main breaker, and then they put a uh, label or marking that do not switch on some people are working. So this will tell that the, tell the crew that we don't need to touch this breaker because there is some there is people doing something in that area so third guys is visual check all the panel the whole panel just look on the circuit or or in the panel if there is an abnormality or you can smell if there is burning because but there's a possibility guys that some devices are already old um, I think that's like five years six years like that so the device and the wiring inside already broken or already damaged so this, this will cause burn so you can determine you can smell that there is something burn inside so that's the third so the fourth thing guys is patch all the wirings if there is loosened cables in the circuit because there is a possibility guys that there is loosened cables uh, due to vibration because in this especially guys in the engine room where is the main engine located so all the panels there must all the cables all the electrical devices must tighten on the panel because uh, due to uh, too much vibration because if if the cables are loosened guys it will cause spark so if spark after that it will burn so it will damage all the circuit or your motor so the fifth thing guys, the last one is one by one check all the electrical devices like timer, contactor, breaker, and especially fuses. So that's all guys. Uh, I hope you learned something uh, about this troubleshooting. So before I end this video, please hit 
don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell for more upcoming troubles. See ya!